Hello and welcome to the part 3 video series of what kind of heroes and villains I would like to see in Battlefront 3 and what their abilities might be. In this video we're going to be talking about 5 dark side villains that I think are must sees for Battlefront 3. And the first villain on my list today is Malikos from Fallen Order. He was my favorite boss in the game and I'd love to see him make an appearance in Battlefront 3. His first ability would be a dash attack or a flurry attack. You guys remember when you're fighting Malikos in the game and he does that brutal assault on you where he just swings both his lightsabers at Cal as hard as he can like a bunch of times? It would just be that attack except you would be able to control that against other players. It would operate the same way that I described Qui-Gon Jinn's ability activated in part 2 of this video series. Except this one would do a little bit less damage per swing but more swings would be added and its reach would be farther. His second ability would be something that I invented for Battlefront 3 which would be a taunt ability. It would activate the same way Way that Count Dooku's ability activates called Expose Weakness. Malakos would point his lightsaber at whoever the target would be for the ability, and the target would receive enhanced damage from you or any other players while the ability is active. The ability would remain active on the target for about 10 seconds. For his last ability, I was caught between doing a force push and a lightsaber throw. The force push would be cool because we haven't seen any villains yet in Battlefront 2 that had a force push ability, but at the same time, I think it would be cool for Malakos to do his double lightsaber throw. So when this ability is active, he would throw the first lightsaber, then he would throw the second lightsaber. And there would be a moment of vulnerability as he's waiting for both of his lightsabers to come back. But the payoff is that there's the potential for both the lightsabers to hit one target, or even multiple targets. The next character we have up that I'd like to see in Battlefront 3 is Asajj Ventress. Her first ability would be a cross dash attack, so this would operate similar to Ray's dash attack where she would charge at an enemy with her lightsabers crossed across her chest making a giant X. If her dash connects with somebody, she would execute a cross slash attack on whatever the victim is for quite a bit of damage. You could also trigger the cross slash early by tapping the same button again, similar to Chewbacca's ground pound. If no one's around and you just don't land with anybody, Vassage will just end up sprinting in a certain direction. So similar to the way that you use Chewbacca's ground pound sometimes to get the hell out of a room, you could use this ability also to escape from a sticky situation. Her second ability would be a defensive spin move, so with this move, she would spin around in place. Her arms would be somewhat extended and both of her lightsabers would be out, creating a defensive perimeter for herself. This ability would work the same way that Grievous's lightsaber spin attack works, where she's able to deflect blast fire and oncoming lightsaber attacks. While Grievous was able to walk around and aim with his lightsaber spin attack, Ventress would not be able to, she would be stuck in place, but the payoff is that she has a 360 degree defensive shield whereas Grievous is vulnerable from behind. And her last ability would be the exact same ability that Ahsoka had in my previous part 2 video where she is able to flip over a character and land behind them. So this opens whoever you're attacking up from behind for a sneak attack. She'd be able to use this ability three times before having to recharge it. Since she's also a very acrobatic fighter and very similar to Ahsoka in fighting style, I thought it was only appropriate to give her this same ability as well. This also balances the playing field a little bit because if you have one character have one ability on the dark side, one character on the light side should also have that ability or something similar anyway. Next up on the list, we have Trilla Syndulla, also known as the second sister from Fallen Order. Her being the final boss of the game, I think that it is a must-have for Battlefront 3 that she makes an appearance. Her first ability would be an ability that she uses in her fight against you where she dashes across the map and connects with you and is able to suck your life force from you. So in Battlefront 3, how this would work is you'd activate the ability, she would dash very quickly in a certain direction. If it connects with somebody, it would suck some of their health out of them and give it to you. But this would be very hard to do because the ability would activate very quickly and she would move very fast. It would be very easy to miss. But if it does connect, then the payoff would be large. Also for the unsuspecting victim, if they're not fast enough with their dodge or they're just not paying attention, they will get punished brutally by this ability. Her second ability would be a repulse. Now this would act similar to, well it would act exactly the same as Luke's repulse from Battlefront 2, but I thought it only fair that a villain has the repulse as well, and since she uses it a lot in her boss fight against you, I felt it was only appropriate. Whereas Luke does a very quick ground pound, her ability would be a longer animation, so she would jump in the air and she would do the exact same animation she does in Fallen Order, so the ability would take longer to activate, but the repulse attack would have 
a wider range and it would reach farther. During her longer animation, she would be vulnerable to more damage from enemies, but her repulse would also deal more damage than Luke's repulse, so that's how it balances out. And her last ability would be a flashbang grenade that she uses in the final boss fight against you. It felt kind of like a frost grenade, like it, like it looked like it frosted your screen in the game, and it would have a kind of a similar effect to Battlefront 3, to whatever victim is in the vicinity. It's not that fancy, it's just a flashbang, but I thought it would be kind of cool for a lightsaber character to have a flashbang type weapon. The fourth villain we have on the list is Thrawn. Thrawn is someone that I think we absolutely have to see in Battlefront 3. I thought it was very cool that we got to see Director Krennic from Rogue One in Battlefront 1, so I don't think there's any reason that we won't. So all of Thrawn's abilities kind of reflect his way of thinking. They reflect his ability to generate a battle plan very quickly or the ability to predict an enemy attack. So all of his moves kind of reflect this. His first ability is a counter attack. So when you activate the ability, Thrawn would get into a defensive stance and it would just kind of linger until somebody triggers it. Kind of like how in Super Smash Bros, if you're playing someone who has a counter attack, when you activate it, they enter kind of a suspended animation where they're just kind of frozen and they're waiting for someone to attack them and they remain in that position for a few seconds. So if someone were to attack Thrawn while he was in this counter position, it would reflect the damage back to them. He would only hold this position for about two seconds, so you would have to time it just right for when someone is attacking you. You couldn't just enter this position and just stand there and wait for someone to attack you. You'd have to time it right in order to catch somebody off guard. This counter ability would work against any basic attack, but wouldn't work against a hero's ability used against you, like a force push, for example. But any basic blaster fire or lightsaber swing, he would reflect that damage back to them. His second ability would be something called Predict, which is just a simple radar. So it'd be the same as Ray or Boba Fett's radar, where he's able to see wherever the enemies are anywhere on the map. And his last ability would be something called Takedown Grapple, which would be a melee attack move. So when you activate this ability, Thrawn would charge forward and attempt to grapple with whoever ends up in front of him. It would be a short range attack, so it would be something that would be hard to block because you'd have to react to it very quickly in order to not get hit by it. But if it does connect with you, Thrawn would take down your character. He would physically grab your character and like do a takedown animation. So it would bring your character to the ground, it would do damage to your character, and your character would have a get up animation phase where whoever was playing Thrawn wouldn't be able to do damage to you because they were also getting up from the ground, but you would be vulnerable to attack from somebody else on the enemy team. His melee attacks would be similar to the Imperial security officers from Battlefront 2. And the last villain on my list is Moff Gideon, a must have for the dark side for Battlefront 3. He was an excellent villain in The Mandalorian and I really hope that we see him again. So his first attack would be a dark saber swing. So this would operate similar to Phasma's staff attack where he has about five swings with the saber and he can just choose to activate it and swing it freely and whoever it connects with would do damage. His second ability would be a health boost called Desperation. I call it Desperation because I just think of that scene in Mandalorian in the final episode of the newest season where he is on the ground and Luke is coming and he does that act of desperation. Moff Gideon has always been a villain who has been willing to do whatever it takes to accomplish his goals for the Empire, so I think that this is an appropriate ability for him to have. And his last ability, which I think is a really cool idea, is something that I called a Dark Trooper Spawn. So after activating the ability, three Dark Troopers would spawn in a triangle formation around Gideon for five seconds that can attack enemy players during that time. So while the Dark Troopers are active, they act as kind of a defensive perimeter, but it's not perfect. In between the Dark Troopers, you can still get a shot in at Moff Gideon because he has three defensive points, but also three vulnerable points. The Dark Troopers would have blasters and they could shoot you for those five seconds, so they could deal damage at range, but if you are close enough, they might even enter a devastating melee attack on you that we can remember from Mandalorian when they were punching Din's head into the wall. So while it sounds devastating, it only lasts for about five seconds, and Moff Gideon is still vulnerable to attack in between the dark troopers and is still vulnerable to splash damage. I thought about maybe him spawning one dark trooper that doesn't have a timer, he has to be defeated, and he maybe doesn't have a lot of health, but it kind of acts as like a personal bodyguard that follows Moff around. I thought about that, but I thought that just might end up being too OP, so I thought about maybe just having a more powerful defensive shield that can't be destroyed but only lasts for five seconds. What do you guys think about that ability? Do you think it's kind of OP, or do you think that Moff Gideon should have a different ability? Anyways guys, that is part three 
entirety of the video series for what I would like to see in Battlefront 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm also going to ask you to follow me on my Instagram at Star Wars Real Talk and consider joining the Discord. It is totally free and we're having a lot of fun building a community together and I'd love to see you there. The link is in the description for that. And if you're looking for a master or someone to guide you through the realm of physical fitness, consider joining my Choose Your Path program for a Star Wars themed personal training program, working with me as your one-on-one -on -one coach. Have a great day guys and may the force be with you.